good day and thanks for checking in for that video. This goes out to all the Campagnolo Super Record EPS users, the 12-speed group set right here, you know, the old, uh, the older uh, wired one. And it is about the click that you have on your shifter. Have you ever had the problem that you moved the little plastic thing, the shift to shift up the cassette and you didn't receive any feedback? So no click and also, um, of course, the derailer didn't shift. Um, I had that problem with a shifter before that one. Uh, also had it with this one right here. So two versions and the probability that both wouldn't work, yeah, it's pretty low. At the beginning, I thought it was broken and only on new bikes, I had the feeling, oh yes, this feels good. This is uh, of course new, so it should work and it worked just fine. Then I found out actually that you can adjust the, this click. Um, because on my left shifter, the click was always fine. I always had a, a nice uh, click feeling, as you hear here. No worries at all, so you just need a slight touch. And this is really the thing with electronic gears, right? That it should re require minimal effort uh, to change a gear. Especially in the front, that's cool. You just click a button and it shifts up the, the chain ring. For us, uh, if you have mechanical shifting, you just need a bit more effort. You, you need to uh, really to tilt the whole lever if you're with Shimano, or uh, you need to tilt this thing quite far if you're on Campagnolo. And even then, it's not guaranteed that it shifts nicely. You really need to uh, work together with the, with the whole group, with the whole uh, derailleur. And here, you're much more like detached from uh, the group set because you're not uh, wired uh, with a mechanical uh, cable, but of course electronically. So you just send a signal and you hope that it works. And that's the problem. Uh, the signal was not transferred. But let me show you how you can adjust it because that can save you from uh, a lot of trouble and thinking that your shifter is actually broken while it is not. So to get to that adjustment screw, it's a little screw actually, you need to pop that hood right here off and then that reveals the cable. And also you need to remove the hood cover and you really need to remove it over the button, which can be a bit, um, you, it can give the feeling of you uh, breaking or uh, ripping the cover apart. Just be careful and uh, watch always where you are pulling and where you are pulling it and you should be fine. But this needs to come off in order to have enough space and to actually access uh, the screw. So let me try and show it to you. So you have the cable, you just put that to the side and then you see it right there. It's uh, really, really small. So actually it's a, it's a screw that adjusts the distance. It's a screw right here. I hope you can see it. And it actually pushes out a little pin that goes against the electronic interface that gives the signal and you can screw it out. So it's further away and that's the problem. So it won't reach the electronic interface. Let me just try and demonstrate that. It's a really small space in there. So you can see the screw right here. Then you have this plastic piece and behind is actually the, the contact. You see how it makes contact right there. I hope you get the principle that the, the further away the piston, the further in the piston is, the, the sooner it will make contact and to, the less you have to actually push the, the lever in. And if you screw it back out, you have more distance and it actually can't reach it. And then you maybe have this carbon blade here from the brake lever that will stop the, the shift lever from going any, third, any further and it won't make contact. So you see the problem. I hope it's clear. If it's not clear, of course, leave all of your questions uh, in the comment section below. Uh, it's, a, it's a really small screw again. Uh, 1.5 millimeter hex and you want to get really uh, a quality one ideally with a screwdriver so a bit and a screwdriver so you have a really nice uh, dosage if you have a key like this this can will still work great but don't use it like this because uh, one you can screw up your little screw and two you don't really have a you need to go a long way in order to turn a quarter. So it's just easy with a screwdriver and a bit. But then still you need to have that 1.5 millimeter bit or a hex key. Then I wouldn't recommend an L key 
um, especially not with the, the round uh, head right here in order to turn it. Of course the um, axis is quite good if you access it from a, like a bit of an angle and not straight in. But 1.5 millimeters is just too, uh, too dangerous to slip and damage the screw and good luck finding a screw like this. Well, I hope you're, uh, maybe your Campagnolo reseller has one, but I'm not sure. And with this one, you go in and just, you don't really have the space to turn it nicely because of the hole you would need to remove it uh, completely. So my recommendation really, again, is a straight screw dri screwdriver with a bit. And you can push the hood uh, to the side a bit and then access it nicely. Be sure that you're uh, snugly in and then you can turn it uh, the way you want. So that's it uh, for me today. Um, I hope this video helps you. This trick or this adjustment screw, it helped me immensely because now I have a really nicely working uh, group set again. I can just slightly push it and then the contact is already made. It's just a really pain in the ass because before I needed to slightly pull it back and then push because only then would it not get blocked by the, uh, the carbon uh, lever actually. Now uh, this really feels really good. So I hope I could help you with this video. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, uh, leave them all in the comment section below. And thank you for checking out this video. See you in the next one.